No breakfast, huh? Yeah, I If you do what I'm telling you to do, guys, and you go out to Section 8 program, easily you'll be able to get 875 in rent. You got to clean up the unit, right? After you evict a kid who's freaking playing video games, masturbating, and pissing in Mountain Dew bottles all night, it doesn't, like, come rent ready, okay? The new tenants that are coming in, they're not like, man, this is awesome. I love the aroma of urine in freaking Mountain Dew, okay? By the way, this video is not sponsored by Mountain Dew. Would be cool if it was, though, dude. I do like, I do like to do the Dew. Mountain Dew, what's up? Holler at your boy. Maybe, maybe not, okay. Do not put, do not throw up a Mountain Dew logo in this video, by the way, okay? I don't, I, we do not have permission to utilize a Mountain Dew logo, nor do we have anything to do with Mountain Dew, nor does Mountain Dew have anything to do with this video, nor is it Mountain Dew's fault that the kid decided to use their wonderful drink bottle as a urine receptacle. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. Got another deal ski for you. And I'm rocking the I Love Evictions sweatshirt. So you should probably know what's coming for you, right? 1380 East 43rd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103, right? Semi-occupied duplex coming to you fresh, hot off a recent eviction, okay? I love evictions, y'all. Nothing better than the sweet scent of some piece of garbage getting thrown out because you don't steal from your landlord when Holton Wise is on the case, y'all. Uh, so what we got here is a typical situation uh, of the seller's loss is going to be your gain, and I'd like to see you guys try to do something a little bit differently so you don't end up in a similar situation, right? Uh, the tenant was recently evicted, okay? And uh, we got eviction footage for you. Of course we do. That's what we do here, right? Ch check out the Tenants from Hell show if you guys want to watch a bunch of scumbags getting thrown out of their houses, right? Uh, this ain't one of those places where we're like, oh, they fell on hard times. Fuck that. They're thieves, and they should be treated as such. I don't feel bad when a car thief goes to jail, and I certainly don't feel bad when some jackass like this kid decides that he wants to steal from his landlord, and uh, we boot his ass, right? This is a weird kid, too. This kid was, like, peeing in, like, pop bottles and just, like, playing video games, and the only thing he kept clean was his fish tank. Weird cat. But anywho, uh, this person got evicted. And uh, this kind of thing is going to be prevalent in a neighborhood like this. This is a higher risk neighborhood. If you're not uh, using the Section 8 program in neighborhoods like this, you absolutely should be because you're going to see uh, similar situations like this more often than not, right? The particular uh, seller uh, of this particular property, right? Uh, he was not utilizing the Section 8 program, but he should have been, right? If you guys are going to buy this investment, and we've discounted it deeply, right? You, you have the opportunity to buy this thing for less than $50,000, right? forty nine nine with a market rent of seventeen fifty, right? The numbers are insane. The numbers speak for themselves. I don't even really need to discuss returns or this or that. Anybody out there with a calculator uh, should be able to figure out that type of stuff. And if you're confused on how you'd figure out some type of returns, uh, you could watch any of the several thousand episodes of the MLS Search and Analysis Show where we put it out there, and I teach you guys how to run the numbers, right? Uh, but the numbers are great, but the numbers are only great, guys, if you can actually collect rent, right? And when you're in a high-risk neighborhood like this one, you got to go Section 8. I know a lot of investors out there, they're scared of Section 8. They're like, no, not Section 8. Uh, if I get Section 8, I'm going to deal with high-risk tenants. Folks, you're in a high-risk neighborhood. All your tenants are going to be high-risk. The tenant base itself is a high risk tenant base that's why properties in neighborhoods uh are going to vary right it's really usually based on the, the level of risk and when i say risk i mean the level uh, of risk you're dealing with in regards to collecting rent like the risk of not paying the rent right if you don't go with section eight in a neighborhood like this uh the amount of times you're not actually able to collect the rent uh is higher um 
then it's higher than it should be for you to effectively make money, right? So you got to eliminate that risk and go with tenants that are on the Section 8 voucher, right? Because the government pays the rent. You don't got to deal with it, right? As a matter of fact, to show you just like how risky it could be if you're not managing it the right way, going with Section 8, we actually also have a video uh, of the neighboring property, right? 1382 East 43rd, same situation. Duplex 499 also dealt with an eviction, should also be selling that one, uh, or I mean also dealt with an eviction. We are also selling that one for forty nine nine, and the new buyer of that one should also be utilizing the Section 8 program just like this one, right? So you have the opportunity to buy both, honestly, and it's like literally the same thing. Like I'm wearing like the same outfit in that video that I'm wearing in this video. I'm talking about the same stuff. I believe the only difference is my sweet-ass rents do had is backwards, but you know, I had to pop it forward so you guys can see the swag, right? It's not just about the I love eviction swag. It's not just about the rents due hat, right? We got all kinds of swag. As a matter of fact, we just got some new swag, right? I just got some samples of a new rents due design, but I got to say, guys, I don't want you to buy this one, all right? Maybe, maybe you click the link below to buy my rents due hat. Maybe you click the link below to buy my I Love Evictions hoodie, use promo code HWTV10, but do not, do not click the link below to buy this Rent Stew shirt. Look at this. Tyler, look at that. The freaking printer, dude. I got, they screwed it up. They didn't put the apostrophe, and then they like moved this, like this. Yeah, like look at the size of that space. Like that is not, not how it's supposed to be. So if anybody uh, bought this shirt, from a any of our stores, right? If you guys bought this shirt and uh, you got it and the print's all jacked up, please send me an email. I will uh, discuss your situation with the manufacturer because I'm hated, y'all. I'm pissed. Like, people get pissed about certain things and certain things they don't get pissed about. Like, when I have to evict some scumbag tenant from, like, a property like this and I didn't put them on Section 8, I don't usually get that hot under the collar because I know that's my fault. It's my fault because I should have put them on Section 8, right? I should have got a Section 8 tenant in a property like this because I know the level of risk is kind of high. So it doesn't get me all heated, but... Well, my manufacturer sends me my samples and I'm missing freaking apostrophes or com. No, what is it? It's a comma. No, no, apostrophes. If I'm missing apostrophes, y'all, I get heated because that means when you guys buy the swag, you're missing the apostrophes. And then you start yelling at me and I'm like, dude, I all right, I got to I got to freaking take my foot and insert it into the booty of my manufacturer. So anyway, moral of the story is. If you bought one of those shirts, let me know if it's jacked up. Don't currently buy those right now. Buy some of the other sweet-ass merch, like like the, this this hoodie, this hat, right? Promo code HWTV10. And while you're at it, shopping for that clothing, watch, go ahead and buy this duplex, y'all, as well as the other one, 1382 East 43rd. If you do what I'm telling you to do, guys, and you go at the Section 8 program, easily you'll be able to get 875 in rent. You got to clean up the unit, right? After you evict a kid who's freaking playing video games, masturbating, and pissing in Mountain Dew bottles all night, it doesn't, like, come rent ready, okay? The new tenants that are coming in, they're not like, man, this is awesome. I love the aroma of urine in freaking Mountain Dew, okay? By the way, this video is not sponsored by Mountain Dew. Would be cool if it was, though, dude. I do like, I do like to do the Dew. Mountain Dew, what's up? Holler at your boy. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Do not put, do not throw up a Mountain Dew logo in this video, by the way. Okay. I don't, I, we do not have permission to utilize a Mountain Dew logo, nor do we have anything to do with Mountain Dew, nor does Mountain Dew have anything to do with this video, nor is it Mountain Dew's fault that the kid decided to use their wonderful drink bottle as a urine receptacle. It could have been any other bottle. Uh, but, you know, he just happened to like Mountain Dew, which, again, it is it is quite delicious and tasty. Uh, I also like Mountain Dew. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I typically pee in the toilet, though, or or outside on, like, a tree. You know, I got a pretty private backyard, so if I'm outside, I'll just, you know, utilize a tree, you know, get that nature in me. But anyway, we're getting off track here, folks. The, 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 the point of this video is the reason you're all here is to buy real estate. And like I said, 
This is some good real estate. Uh, this is going to make you some good money, but it's not going to be super easy, and you got to do things the right way. I'm telling you right now, folks, our number one goal here on Holton Wise TV is to provide you guys with education, transparency. I want you guys to know what it's going to be like if you're investing in this market. And I'll tell you right now, you buy $49,000 duplexes in high-risk neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland, and you go with tenants who aren't on government-guaranteed rent subsidies, you're probably going to deal with more frequent evictions than you want to, right? If you utilize Section 8, this could be a banger of an investment for you. Like I said, probably about 20 Gs or so. Get that unit ready to rock and roll. Increase the rent up to 875. Probably get the other tenant who is current on rent at the moment. Get them up to 875. And if they stop paying rent in the future, you know, a victim, remove them. Probably drop like 20 Gs into their unit. Uh and then, you know, go Section 8 there again, right? 1750 in rent, right? And there's no, like, you know, saying that the, I'm not, I'm like not guaranteeing the eviction or uh, the tenant downstairs is going to, the other tenant's going to get evicted, right? Like they're currently paying. They have not had uh, the best payment history, right? I'll be upfront and disclose that with you, right? Sometimes they pay, sometimes they don't get to where you're about to victim, but then they do pay. Uh, and Cleveland does have pay to stay legislation, right? So as long as the tenant eventually gets it up and paid, you do have to accept that, right? So that's just letting you guys know how important it is when you're going to chase after these low cost properties you're going to chase after these high cash flow dollars i want to be the guy that's here telling you exactly how it's going to go down so you know what you're in for and i'm telling you right now i can't i can't say it enough this you know this is it this is the last time i'm going to say it but you got to go section 8 to make the level of risk on these types of deals an acceptable level of risk for you right cuz i hope that's why you guys are watching the show i hope you're watching the show to learn how to make money out here i've made millions of dollars investing in this market, investing in these kind of properties. But just because I've made millions doesn't mean everyone can make millions and it's super duper easy. No, it is not easy. I know the Wokies out there are going to tell you that, uh, landlords don't do any work. All they do is collect money. No, ma. No, no, bro. No, mofo. That ain't, that ain't how it is, man. It's actually very, very difficult to make a lot of money in this business. And again, uh, I believe the way I presented this property, I believe that illustrates it to you guys. But there is absolutely a path to making a ton of money, which I have highlighted for you multiple times during this video. So uh, you guys utilize that. You'll be just fine. If you want to make an offer on this property, uh, we're going to want cash offers because it's not really in the greatest condition. It's not cleaned up. I don't think banks are really going to be down to loan on this till you clean it up. So I'm going to want those cash offers sent to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. I mean, you know what? If you want to submit a finance offer, we'll look at it. It's possible. I'll probably want to talk to your lender and underwrite your lender's ability to get the deal closed. Because, like, I guess it's, like, sketchy and, like, you're going to need to clean it up to get it uh, to be attractive to a new tenant. Uh, but I guess it's not really uninhabitable. So it probably could go. But cash would be preferred, especially when we're playing uh, in the pool where we're talking on, like, such cheap properties. I mean, guys, we're talking forty nine nine. okay? It's pretty friggin' dirt cheap. But I guess we'll uh, consider financed offers as well, right? Send either to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Also, if you guys want to tour the unit, tour the vacant unit, we're not going to have you bother the existing tenant, right? We're, I mean, that's how you take a tenant who is paying rent currently uh, and turn them into somebody who doesn't pay rent. You keep having random assholes show up on their door and banging on their door and start bothering them. Like, that's not going to happen, guys. We ain't going to have you mess with the tenants, right? Uh, so you're going to need to make those offers sight unseen on that unit, but you'll be able to get into that unit during the inspection or appraisal uh, if we do do a financed offer. But the vacant unit, you are free to go in that bad boy uh, anytime you need. Just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will set you up for your own personal on the ground tour so you can get in, put together your scope of work, see exactly what you need to do to get this thing ready to rock and roll, ready to get that Section 8 cheddar. Let's go! No breakfast, huh? Yeah, okay, let's go. Happy 
Well, so appliance is furnished with the unit? Oh, where does it stay? Do you have anything in the basement? Sorry. or? Oh, Come on, come on, Dave. Move it up. Ah. I'm good too. I see the stack of keys over here. Is that the house keys you were planning on turning in or something, or are they yours for something else? Okay. Ready? <clears throat> Rent? Yeah. Over a year. Oh, he. They were just saying it's been a year since you paid rent. Over a year. No. Okay. Well, that's the magistrate stuff. So. Thanks. So. Gotcha. Yeah, mostly here just get like the layout and okay. right. conditions. Okay. I, so. I understand. I'm just checking. With you. So, hey, Eric. No. Oh. Huh? No. Your fish, hey, yeah, that appliances. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah. Just mention it to you. We're going to take the water down to lighten up. Do so you know the microwave goes, right? Uh, I think the microwave does, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think the stove and fridge are ours. Okay. Microwave okay. should be his. So, everything but the fridge, though. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.